or not laugh, but this is a true story. I do very intense leadership master classes. They're four days long. I mean, seriously intense, like 15 hours a day. They're, they're remarkable. And, and I know because I put my heart into them and I know that I see the impact on people. Anyway, so I get to see so many different kinds of people. So I'll share with you the story of someone who was part of this experience. This is like, I don't know, 10, 15 years, 10 years ago, I think, 12 years ago. This person, this woman, from day one, out of the four days of the master class, from day one, she's a senior person in a big academic institution. From day one, she started crying. Now, the, the, the master classes I do, they're a small number, they're not big numbers of people. So from day one, she just sat in a corner and she started crying. Now I know that it might be difficult for you to believe this. If it wasn't remarkable, I would not have remembered it. Almost. Four days and she's crying. Four days. The schedule is clear. We start the day, 15, 20 minutes into the, into the master class, and she starts crying. And she sits at the same corner and she just cries, 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 cries. And I could see that there is a, I don't know, like a dam, you know, like a dam opened. And behind that dam, there is like, you know, a hundred kilometer or mile wide lake. It was the same thing, except that that lake wasn't full of water. It was full of tears. It was obvious that she carried so much pain and stress that she found it very safe in that environment during the master class to just bring it out. It happened. I mean, it wasn't intentional. It just happened. Four days of crying. Now, between brackets, the way she cried wasn't even nice. I mean, it was ho horrible. But, but she was crying, so what do you do? I mean, something to, I mean, heartbreaking stuff. Point is, often in life, if you're lucky, sometimes we get overwhelmed. You're suspecting some seriously bad news, you know, terminal disease or something, and it's just too much. Or you know about the terminal disease or the you know, business disaster that might happen or whatever. You know, something serious. It would be a major tsunami in your life. And you're just overwhelmed by the amount of fear and anxiety waiting for this bad thing to happen. Another form, another reason to be overwhelmed is uncertainty. That also, that sometimes is even worse than the first condition that I gave you. Uh, let's go back to the first example. You, you have a medical problem and you go to a doctor and it's a serious problem, but the doctor says, we don't know what's happening and we don't know what the causes are when we can't identify or diagnose the disease. At least in the first scenario, even though it was a serious disease like cancer or any other, you know, horrible disease, you have a name, you know what you're dealing with. But when they say, we don't know, then can you imagine your mind is going everywhere? So uncertainty, especially when it's at a very high level, is also a serious source of, uh, to, make, to get you overwhelmed. Another one is when you don't have clear solutions to serious problems. So you are in trouble and you just can't see a way out of this. You look everywhere, you think about it, you turn it upside down, look at it from all angles, and you can't see a logical way out of this. There's no light at the end of the tunnel. 
sometimes it's there, there is the light is there but you can't see it bottom line and sometimes there are no lights some problems have no solutions some problems have no solutions it's not true that every problem has a solution sometimes there's no solution or the solution is absolutely disastrous so that's another reason to be overwhelmed another reason is when your mind is racing you're tired you're fatigued and you just can't stop the flow of thoughts that come into your mind it's congested like a traffic jam with negative thinking you also feel overwhelmed another reason is that you have many unresolved problems and they pile up and they become a solution that's hard to handle so you become overwhelmed because it's just popping up from all kinds you know all directions all kinds of problems bottom line you get overwhelmed when the challenge that you're dealing with is higher than if your capacity you know to process problems and find solutions what do you do in this situation <laughs>
you just take purity in so by praying you're charging yourself with goodness and that's even more powerful than meditation now if you don't want to pray should you meditate meditate whatever helps you if it's legal and ethical and healthy and works for you do it talk to friends not any friends friends who are good listeners friends who wish you well friends who really care friends whom you trust and you will feel that they will have a soothing effect because the process of sharing what you feel and what you think with someone who really cares and you feel that from inside this person really cares is a soothing effect delegate we get overwhelmed sometimes because there's so much to do delegation is a blessing delegate you don't have to do everything by yourself spread the word around you ask family members colleagues team people you know part of your team around you friends whoever anybody who you can you know ask for their help just delegate would you be kind enough to help me with this can you handle this on my behalf that alone will make sure that the the pressure of having to deal with so many issues you know is much less one thing at a time what do you do when you have a big problem or a multiple facet problem you split it into pieces one thing at a time sometimes you will have to tell other people you know who are screaming for your attention to calm down sometimes you have to be you know a bit hard on them by telling them I'll attend to you after I finish that because you can't deal with multiple problems at the same time in an efficient and effective way so you have to take it one at a time and that needs willpower that needs you to say no and that's my next point learn how to say no people have tendency around you to throw their problems at you to involve you in their issues so that you help them in their problems you have to learn how to say no so that you can protect yourself from whatever is overwhelming you and be in a situation where you can manage declutter cluttering is overwhelming make sure that your office is clean and neat and beautiful if, the, if your office is cluttered so many papers you know left right and center declutter spend time to clean it up if your room is messed up clut declutter your room unnecessary things either file them or throw them away or put them in boxes but just get them out of your sight because that will reflect on your thinking the more orderly is your environment is the more orderly will be your thinking write a plan write a plan writing down helps you clarify things put them in points bullet points one two three four create a road map have a clear process it will ease the pressure on you at least you have a way out now you can see that there is a way out even if you have to change it later on but write it down and my last point is remember your achievements remember that you've been in difficult times in the past remember the challenges that you had to face and how you heroically and successfully managed to deal with them remembering though your successful stories will give you the necessary boost self-confidence encouragement that will make you be in a better place to in, be in control you make you in a better place to handle this with more confidence and with more determination and clarity and with more manageable emotions bottom line life sometimes gets, gets overwhelming and it's normal all of us get to a point where the things around you know problems around us get too much for our personal level of tolerance our personal threshold what do we do we handle it how do we handle it follow the steps that i mentioned leadership self-leadership is about getting yourself out of your problems so that you walk towards progress and that includes dealing with situations where you are overwhelmed you follow these steps 
and you'll find yourself in control and you find yourself moving forward. And that's what self-leadership is all about. Thank <laughs> you.